Hello guys and welcome to part 6 of the series where we discuss Salesforce Associate Practice exam questions. So let's move on and let's talk about question number 56. The question says fill in the blanks. Dash are guided paths made up of modules and projects with a common theme. So over here we have three options. The option number A is trail, option number B is module, option number C is unit. Before looking at the answer, let us first understand the question. The question says that when you want to look for modules in project with common theme what do you look for what is a guided path so if you have ever you know looked into the trailhead.com where you know we study salesforce where we can perform hands-on on salesforce when we are learning about specific combination they have a different trails so each trail has a, a combination of modules which are targeting one common theme so in this case the answer is option number a trail Further, if you want to read, the explanation is given uh, and it's the same that I said. But even if you want to remember or if you want to make notes, this is something I've provided. So you can take screenshots and, you know, in, in one single slide, there's question, there's answer, and there's explanation provided. Question number 57. When a lead is converted, an account, contact, and dash record are created. We have four options, stage, role, opportunity, case. In this case, let us first understand the question. The question says that when a lead is converted, what is a lead? A lead is a probable customer for your product or service on Salesforce. Account is account is a specific account that we create for that lead. Contact is the details that we add. In a way, we can reach out to that lead and dash record are created. So the answer is option number C, opportunity. So whenever we convert a lead, like we, you know, put it in our database, we create a account, contact and opportunity for it. And further the details that we want to, you know, say for that lead, we use these data fields to put our data in them. Question number 58. Users can be deleted from salesforce.com. True or false? So like in salesforce every single user you know puts their data or their comments in different opportunities account field and even if the users they leave salesforce it is very significant for the data to be still there so in this case we cannot delete the user from salesforce.com what we have to do is we can deactivate them okay so again you have the question you have the answer and you have the explanation too Question number 59. A profile can have many users, but a user can have one profile. True or false? So, it, uh, you know, consider over here that uh, there are multiple users and every single user has a profile on them. One of them is a Java developer, one of them is a PHP developer, and one of them is a .NET developer. So, these are the profiles and the users are the people. So, a single person cannot have a tag of java developer as well as php developer so the statement given is true and this is the explanation again if you want you can pause the video and read it and understand it question number 60 get cloudy consulting is rolling out salesforce to its organization okay new users may have different access requirements based on department so every single department will have different access requirements like the sales people want different access the operations people want different access the developers want different access so what should be recommended to allow new users to correct access based on their department requirements so definitely every single department even has a hierarchy the higher the department level the more the access they are able to get you know their hands on so over here we have four op uh, three options role hierarchy individual profiles permission set so permission set targets when you want to modify someone's access like they already have a set of access but you want to give them more access in that case you go into permission sets and you modify them accordingly then comes individual profiles if you know we target giving them access on each and every profile it will take a lot of time for the organization for example if it has thousand people for working for it or two thousand they cannot sit and you know customize the access for each and every one of them and that can even lead to errors so in this case the right answer is role hierarchy 
in this way depending upon what role and what hierarchy you are in the department you will get the excess so as the explanation says every organization has different departments having associates working at different levels we implement this in salesforce a role hierarchy functionality is present this support is allocation of excess right depending on the role hierarchy scale the higher the role hierarchy the higher will be the excess rights question number 61 within salesforce a non profit cloud service is present for organizations that are looking forward to fundraising and grant making for a noble cause so the answer is true there is a you know such section in salesforce known as non profit cloud and you know they help their the organization to do fundraising they help them to do program management they help them to do marketing they help them to do engagement they help them to do non profit organization activities they help them to do grant making and so on so the statement given over here is very true uh, salesforce has a non profit cloud service for organizations that are looking forward for fundraising and grant making for noble causes it's not entirely you know money based so over here we will just take a moment and we will read through the explanation now next question in salesforce dashboards are created using report so what is a dashboard dashboard is a visual representation of data what is report report is a object that is made up of rows and columns in which we put the data in so the answer is true the image over here is very important report type is something from which reports are created and dashboards are something that are created from reports okay question number 63 an employee has moved from usa to india for better user experience he wants to change the time zone which of the following is the correct way to do so so someone wants to just change the time zone on which they are working and what is the correct way to do so option number a user should update date and time in default local settings option number b user should update date and time in personal local settings option number c both default and local settings option number d none of above so the answer over here is option number b user should update date and time in personal local settings why in this case if user will change the default time zone then the whole company's time stamp will get updated which is something that we do not need so everyone should focus on their own personal settings when it comes to the local time so again we will take a moment and understand the question explanation if we missed question number 64 in salesforce what is used to keep a track of customer inquiries customer feedback question etc on an object account case lead and opportunity so like whenever a customer inquires or customer puts a feedback or there's a ticket from the customer on an object there's a specific place called as case so in this case what happens is that whenever there's a there's a interaction with the client customer or the organization the whole conversation and the whole process is recorded in a case so that in future the people can you know review that case they can understand that case and they can give better answer so again if you want to learn more about it you can pause 
I have given the explanation to give you a better understanding. Question number 65. A Salesforce user wants to update their name due to some reason. Where should she navigate to? So we have three options. Contact record, user profile, lead record. The contact record and lead record, they are related to the client. It's not related to the personal, you know, name settings and stuff. So in this case, the answer is option number B, user profile page. So in user profile page, he can just navigate to the profile link and he can just modify the things. Yeah. So thank you so much for, you know, watching this video. Uh, I'm receiving multiple messages and mails that people want me to share this PDF with them. And uh, I'm not sure what is the right way I can do it because Google Drive link is something I, I'm not finding an optimized way. If you have a suggestion for me, please drop it down in the comments so that, you know, I can check that how can I share these notes with you guys. I definitely want you all to have them, but I'm not sure what is the right way because I do not need the copyright issues or something. So please uh, let me know. And if you have any queries or questions, please let me know about them too. And I would really appreciate if you will reach out to me by email and not my social media accounts. Yeah, thank you.